It's Saturday morning. Time to wake up. Hello, welcome to the Saturday Morning Show. The weekly show where we try to talk about the things that's gonna come out of my brain, you know? So it's gonna be like surgery osmosis. It's like a weird mad scientist that's cutting pizza pies out of my brain and feeding them directly through you through this medium that we call the internet. So. Saturday morning show, it's my thoughts. And this is also the first episode of the Saturday morning show. So I thought, hey, this is kind of like the pilot episode, right? But you're not like a pilot who crash lands planes into the Hudson River. Not like that kind of pilot, like a television pilot show. You know, the first episode of a television show is a pilot episode. So I thought, hey, let's talk about what we think, what I think, what we, like there's a crowd here. I mean, like it's like Starman's there talking to us. No, just me. What I think, are some of the best TV pilot episodes of all time. The first one that comes off on the top of my head, Lost. Yeah, that's right, you remember that? You know, he's all sleeping. Oh, he wakes up, he's in the jungle, he's looking around, it's dog breath, there's a dog around. The other thing that sticks around about Lost, you know at the end of the episode, and they're all hanging around and there's one of the hobbits there, and they look off in the trees and they hear the rustling. The first time I ever saw that episode, I thought we had a show where they crash landed on Jurassic Park. I literally thought it was gonna be about dinosaurs. I thought we were gonna have the guy from Party of Five running from a T-Rex and it was gonna be totally awesome. But we found out that it was smoke. Still kind of cool, but not as cool as a T-Rex, man. I mean, come on, J.J. Abrams. Can you imagine how awesome Party of Five dinosaurs would be? I just gave that one to you for free. And if you use it, I will sue. I have lawyers on call. Another one that comes to my head is an old personal favorite of mine, Star Trek. The Next Generation. Star Trek The Next Generation, man, it was such a big deal. I can remember news reports, seeing news stories about Star Trek The Next Generation. It was like, there's a war in Libya, but uh, more importantly, there's Star Trek, a new Star Trek show coming on, and who do these people think they are? They think they're better than William Shatner? Nobody's better than William Shatner. I couldn't believe, as a kid, that this was a news report. Like, who cares about Star Trek? So you have this show about this new crew on the Enterprise, and you have Data, the most advanced android in the universe. And what's he doing? He's skipping rocks. He just, hey, I'm a robot. Skip rock. Hey, Data, uh, we have like a warp engine that like needs to be computized through math and stuff. You wanna go down on that? No, I wanna be human and throw rocks. Get over there and do some math stuff, man. Throw rocks, be human. The other thing that's kind of weird about that episode as a pilot episode is that it has space amoebas in it. The Enterprise literally fights space amoebas. Space amoebas that not only fight the Enterprise, but they also make sweaters. Not even kidding you. Dr. Crusher, it, during one part of the episode, is like, hey, I need a red sweater. And boop, red sweater. Space amoebas. You know, this show doesn't have space amoebas, so why am I knocking space amoebas? This show would be so much better if it had space amoebas. Does anybody know where I can get some space amoebas? Another TV pilot that is amazing. Another favorite of mine is the Andy Griffith Show. And I'm not just talking about this because of the recent death of Andy Griffith. I'm talking about it because it's a personal favorite of mine. The first episode of the Andy Griffith Show is called The New Housekeeper. And what many people, I don't think many people have seen this episode. It's pretty much, if you don't know the secret behind the scenes stories of, you know, Andy Griffith, he's the little small town sheriff in Mayberry, in, in North Carolina, I believe. And his wife has died before the show. So Opie's Ron Howard is this little kid and he brings in his Aunt B. They never really tell you how she's his aunt, she just is. And she shows up and the entire episode, Ron Howard is just a little brat to her. She's just like, oh, here, Opie, here's a pie. I hate you, Aunt B. Get out of my business. I'm trying to help you, child. Would you like pickles? No, I'm gonna punch you in the face, old woman. The end of this episode is Aunt B gets all flustered because Opie doesn't like his, her pies and she leaves, but she leaves strategically. Strategically. So you leave strategically out of the house so that they can do this shot through Opie's window over Opie's shoulder watching Aunt B. And so Aunt B and Andy are walking out and they're doing this whole little thing to like manipulate Opie into keeping her. And oh, Andy, I'm going to walk out this way so Opie can strategically see me out of his window. That's a good move you're doing right there. You sure you're gonna go into the car, go the whole way? Yes, I think if I open the door, he will run out and want me to make pickles for him. That's a good plan. I'm just gonna go talk over to Barney. You just now let me know how that goes. And Opie, of course, falls for it. He runs out and he's like, Aunt B, don't leave me. <laughs> I think that's how he uh, got the job on A Beautiful Mind. They're crying in that episode when he was six. It's the secret of Hollywood right there. Cry when you're six years old and you'll become a famous director that can 
order around Russell Crowe. That's what I was told. So I want you to comment below. Tell me what you think is the best TV pilot episode ever, but you have to have a good argument for it because if you can't beat Aunt Bee's pickles, I don't know if I want to hear it. So we're going to end this Saturday morning show with the first ever This Saturday in History. July 7th, 1928 was the first day that sliced bread was ever sold. It was sold in Chillicothe, Missouri. If you know how to say that name, Chillicothe, it's right here. I'm going to put it up. Chillicothe, pop. Missouri. And it was the first time I believe the phrase that better than sliced bread or the best thing since sliced bread was ever said. So that's it for the Saturday morning show. We're going to do this every week. My thoughts coming out to you through the power of the internet or until you tell me to just shut up. Then I'll stop. I'll stop, you know. And, you know, we will stop doing these. I keep saying we. It's like this is my studio audience. If you want to add somebody to the studio audience, just put it in the mail. I'll give you an address in another episode, if I get to do another episode. But I only do another episode if you like and subscribe to this channel. For the Saturday Morning Show, I'm Jason Inman. I'll be seeing you. <laughs>